so excited. We got yeah. the champagne. <laughs> we got a big old rock in somebody's hand. Big old rock. <laughs> All right. Oh, yeah. that was easy. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Excuse me, you're pulling it off. <laughs> the night that we got engaged, I had so much champagne. It was great. I love that photo. <laughs> I also feel like we never have champagne no. in our episodes, and this was completely warranted. Need a little bit more. Oh yeah. Because it bubbles down. I know. But Miss Page is yes. engaged. <laughs> So cheers! Cheers to that! The future Mrs. Potts! It still doesn't seem real. Does it not? No, it's been such... I think I'm still on cloud nine for sure. Mm-hmm. It's crazy. As you should be. I think I'm on cloud nine for you. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we've both been so invested into like when and where and how yeah. and what and the time has arrived. The time has arrived. We're here and you can bet that we are going to be talking about it for all of you. <laughs> because that's what what's the tea is about. We're spilling the tea on all things engagement. Yeah. I Okay, so should I just go full story? Let's go full, full story. story. Take happened? us to the place. Take us where it happens. All right. Here we go. <laughs> Buckle up. Buckle up. <laughs> You're in for a real treat. Just uh, kidding. So I, we were in Colorado Springs. So Landon he was in a golf tournament with um, his one of his family members, his godfather. And so we went down there. He flew down before I did. I flew down later on Wednesday. And I was like, okay, I think it's going to happen when we go hiking. So I bought a new outfit. Like, you better believe I was on aloe. <laughs> <laughs> ordering all the things because I was... I just thought it would. Yeah. Because beautiful scenery. We went to Garden of the Gods. <gasps> Which was amazing. Was Your so photos. Pretty. Freaking beautiful. I know. Like the red rocks and <gasps> yeah. blue sky mountains. It was great. So I thought it would happen there. We went in the morning and I just kind of, when we started getting closer, I'm like, mm, I don't think it's going to happen. Like I just don't. But whatever. <laughs> So it didn't happen. <laughs> Clearly. That was a no. That was a no. So then I'm like, you know what? It's fine. It'll happen back in Fargo. It, it's meant to be when it'll be. Yep. Just whatever. So went along with my day with our trip. And then Friday, so his godmom and I and then his cousin's fiance, we go out to the country club and mm -hmm. we meet them, okay? Because it's a dinner. So okay. it's a beach luau theme. This is the night at the country club. Yes, Friday okay. night, the night we got engaged. Okay. I still can't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> ah, so great. So, yeah, we get out there and we're just sitting on the table having some drinks at social hour and Landon really wants to go look at this house on the 18th hole. And I didn't totally think anything normal. of it. Yeah, because we love to go look at houses even in Fargo. Right. You know, so we, I'm like, okay, fine, we'll go, we'll take these golf carts. His cousin and the fiance came with us, so we both had two separate golf carts. Side note though, it was pouring. It was pouring rain and it finally stopped like 10 minutes before we left. And like by thinking, the grace of God. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and thinking back to it now, I'm really glad it did because I the pictures would have been nice, but I would have been kind of mad my hair was soaking wet, you know? Yeah. But it all works out for a reason. It always works out. <laughs> so we go out there and we're driving and it's cold, but we have our drinks, so it's great. And Lana and I are together. So then we get to the 18th hole and we're taking pictures of Jace and Shanna. That's his cousin and the new fiance. Okay. And then Shanna's like, do you guys want one? So we go up, we're on the green and we're taking pictures. And then all of a sudden Landon just drops to one knee. There it is. <laughs> and says some really cute things. And then we get engaged. And the best part, honestly, I couldn't have planned it any better myself. <laughs> my, so my cousin, my cousin, my best friend, Amber, and her husband, Rob, live down there. Same with Barb and Jeff. Yes. His godparents. So then they come rushing out of the bushes with champagne, glasses. Jeff had Landon's parents on FaceTime. So that oh, was really special. Oh, my gosh. We could see it. I, I think I was so shocked because I had to do, like, some double takes. I'm like, oh, my gosh, it's you guys. <laughs> Who are these people in the bushes? <laughs> yeah, it was great. So we, we had champagne out there. We took a bunch of pictures. And the best part, too, was 
So it was already a planned party. So it was like a party for us, but it was really for everybody. But we had drinks. Oh, we had a great meal. Gosh, it good job, so Landon. Oh my gosh. And it is so freaking sweet because you got a video of it. Yes. And the best part of the entire video, because it's just so you guys, is, you know, Landon's <laughs> down on his knee. You're freaking out. Like, you were totally surprised. Yeah. You could tell. You were completely surprised. <laughs> After you're, you're hugging or whatever, there goes the ring onto the ground. <laughs> and Landon just scoops it up and puts it on. And you were just, like, cheesing so hard. Like, could care less that this ring just fell on the ground but it's so like it was just so genuine how it happened yeah like it was like perfectly imperfect yeah it is totally us like it's totally <laughs> landed to just be like in a hurry to do everything yes <laughs> it falls. and his cousin even made the same mm. note he's like dude you dropped the ring like giving him crap about it and he was like well she kind of hit my hand because <laughs> you were so excited because yeah. we were talking i mean obviously we had talked about you know, do we think it's going to happen on this hike? You're going to go to this this beautiful scenery. And I told Paige before she left, I was like, Paige, if it doesn't happen Thursday, it's probably not going to happen. Yeah. Like, just if it doesn't happen Thursday, you know, don't worry. <laughs> Enjoy the rest of your trip. It's probably not happening. Yeah. And you were like, yeah, I totally agree. And Landon totally just crushed it he crushed it and you know what i'm so glad it didn't happen because i was i was expecting it totally and i always said i wanted to be surprised and he said he knew you would be expecting it he did. to be at thursday yeah so the morning of our hike we got up really early well i mean we got up at like 6 30 and we were getting ready and of course like i had my really cute outfit and he's <laughs> like are you sure you want to wear that because so on Thursday, after we got engaged and we were just talking, he's like, I knew you thought it was going to happen Thursday because you were dressed to the nines and looked really cute. And he's like, ah, she knows. She knows what's happening. So he's like, I can't. I can't do it. It's just, it's crazy. It worked out perfect. The yeah. fact that the rain stopped literally right when it needed to. And also, it sounds like Landon was going to do it rain or shine. Oh, he was. He said, he's like, if it wasn't going to stop raining, I was going to go full on notebook because this shit was happening tonight. <laughs> <laughs> this is the plan. We're sticking to the plan. He's like, I couldn't wait any longer. Like, I had the ring. It was burning a hole in my pocket. <laughs> oh, and I, you had no idea that he had it. No. See, I had no idea. So when we got to the country club, his godfather had it in his pocket. Okay. And I guess they went to the bathroom and exchanged. And then when we were Sneaky. driving on the golf cart, Lennon had it in his back, um, like between his belt and his shorts. Yeah. And then Which the ride. Which is genius. I know. And I did because I didn't see it, like a bump. Right. You're lo you'd be looking in like a back pocket, front pocket, you know, yeah. sport coat pocket. You better believe I was looking on Thursday. Yeah. <laughs> I would have too. Yeah. And then when we, I just remember thinking like, okay, where, where is this ring? Where is it at? And then when he <laughs> said that, I'm like, oh shit, I don't ever know. <laughs> <laughs> totally fooled me. Maybe Landon's going to get a job in smuggling stuff because, I mean, that that's impressive. I yeah. couldn't believe that he was able to do that so well. It was so fun. So, I want to relive that. You, well, luckily you have the photos, you have the video. The ring, though. The ring. Ah. Oh, my Lanta. What in the world? <laughs> <laughs> it is so freaking beautiful. Thanks. If you could describe it in one word, what would you... What would you call it? Um, in one word, I think I would call it classy. Yes, totally. Like, it's just, it's really simple. It's totally me. Yes. Um, I would say it's classy. I agree. Yeah. But it's like, it's, it's a simple oval diamond. Uh-huh. Is it four prong? No. It's a six prong. Six prong, which I freaking love. I do too. And then the band is twisted, just plain gold twisted band, which I've never seen before. I know. That's why it's so unique. I agree. But it's not like overpowering. It's no. just like such a subtle little, here's a couple little things to make it different. Yeah. But still like never going to go out of style. No. I agree. Uh, I can't stop looking at I, it. <laughs> yeah, your hand's probably heavy. Your arm's getting sore. <laughs> funny is the next day I went on a hike with his cousin and my cousin and Rob and 
um, after the hike, it was a four mile hike, and Landon's like, so did you get weighed down by that new rock? Probably. <laughs> I was like, yep. For sure. My left side was heavier. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm still like over the moon about this for you guys. I just have been waiting and waiting yeah. and waiting, and now the time is here. Which means you get to plan a wedding, and that is so freaking fun. I'm so excited. The it, wheels in my head are turning. Oh my gosh. And it's like how perfect timing that we just had behind the scene events. Mm-hmm. So we just talked all wedding. Yeah. And like had no clue that this was about to happen. <laughs> so you are prepared. I am prepped. You're prepped. You've had this ready. And that's why we have a game for you today. Yay! <laughs> I feel like I'm on the other I side. I know! I know. This is so table. funny. I told Paige, I, I mean, we obviously, like, talked a little bit before the episode, but I'm like, we're doing a game because this is the only time that we can do a game for you. So, <laughs> let I put, her rip. Let her rip. I put together a game for the future Mrs. Poss, and it's called All the Possibilities. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and what it is going to be is it's kind of like a this or that, which we love to do, but I'm going to give you three options. And you can only obviously pick one. And what I want to see happen here is for any of you past brides out there, you know how much you think you know what your wedding is going to be like. And then when you get to it, you realize how much different it was. So and not a ton of differences, but you just, you realize like, oh gosh, I actually didn't want this or I did want this. And so I want to get your answers. You're freshly engaged, but we're still close enough where like you have a good idea. Yeah. And I want to compare it <laughs> to like, we're going to do a follow-up episode post-wedding and we're going to do this game and see where the heck things yes, fell. Yes. Okay. I was actually thinking that that's a great idea. I okay. Good. Good. <laughs> Okay, so all the possibilities. So first off, wedding season. Summer, fall, winter, or spring? Definitely. So I wanted summer. Okay. But I realized that summer is so busy. Yes. So fall. Fall. Fall it is. Love fall. Mm -hmm. Okay. Day, Friday, Saturday, or Sunday. I've been seeing a lot of Sunday weddings. Oh, Sunday. You know, I always thought I'd have a Saturday wedding, but the last couple weddings I've gone to have been a Friday, and I love it because... Then your guests can enjoy the whole weekend. Yes. And then we can enjoy the whole weekend. So Friday. I am here for the Friday weddings. Yeah. And I, things are a little bit cheaper on that Friday. That too. I mean, yeah. it is a win-win for everybody. Everybody gets a weekend. You guys get a little bit of a discount. And I just see no harm in this. Mm-hmm. I think it's a great option. <laughs> okay. These next questions are all dress pertaining. Ooh, so I'm Landon, so quit listening. Yeah. You're done here. You can be dismissed. <laughs> um, but this is all dress focused. So lace, beaded, or plain? I I don't know. Mm. I don't know. I kind of think plain. Okay. I really think plain, but I also love lace. I think it's so simple yeah. and I don't know. One of the two, but I have to pick one. You gotta pick one. Oh, I think I'm gonna go plain. Plain. Mm-hmm. Love it. Mm-hmm. Okay. What still pertaining to the dress here? Fitted, mermaid. You can count a line and mermaid too. I think. Okay. I mean, they're different, but like, let's just say it's similar. Fitted, mermaid, or ball gown. I'm going to say mermaid. Yeah. 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 I love that. I love that for you. Okay. We'll see if it happens. <laughs> okay. For the color, white, ivory, or I really couldn't think of like what the third color option would be. Yeah. Thinking like something that's kind of uh, either a blush-ish or like sometimes people do nude-ish. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. I'm thinking white. Classic white. Classic white. Okay. Okay, well, we'll see. We'll see what you <laughs> what you come up with here. Okay, for the hair, are you gonna do, which will time will tell. But up, half up, or all down? Ah, see, I don't know. This one is so tough for me. Part of me wants it down for the ceremony and then up for the reception. <gasps> oh, girls can do two. <laughs> Luckily, I have a really good hairdresser, aka Michaela. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I'm probably gonna say up. Do up. Just keep it like off. Hassle free. Yeah. I I don't think that's a bad idea. Yeah. 
All right. You were up, right? I did up. You did up. I did up. I and I hair. love down. I love you down know? so much, but man, oh man, was that a windy day and my hair would have been messed yeah. if I would have done down. <laughs> so I'm I'm happy with the option. Okay. Um, venue. Rustic, glam, or contemporary? Um, okay, so, ooh, that's tough. That's really tough because I really, honestly, Fargo has so many great venues. And, and you're like, kind of torn. I am. <laughs> there's like two or three that I'm really going in between and it's just going to depend on number of guests that yep. they allow, but I'm going to say contemporary. Contemporary. Yeah. Okay. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> All right. Seating, specifically seating for you and Landon. Are you thinking a head table? So standard where you're facing everybody and just your wedding party is up there. Sweetheart table, so it's just you two. Okay. Or head table with plus ones. Oh, you're killing me today. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to plan your whole wedding tonight. Yeah, yeah, I love it, love it. You know, I think, what was the first option? Head table. Standard head table. I think standard head table, but I, I really would love for my bridal party to have their significant other mm-hmm. because I think it makes it so much more fun for them. Yeah. So, again, depending what the venue would allow for. That's a good point. And what it would look like, but ideally I would love to have... Everybody up there. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So what option is that? Head Um, table plus significant others. Head table plus significant others. Yeah. Yes. All right. Music. Band, DJ, or both? Ooh. Well, if I do DJ, will you make the playlist? Oh, (laughs) you can count on me to make that playlist. Yes. Ah. I feel like DJ. Do you? I think band would be really fun, but I just, I love a good party. Yeah. And I know our friends do too, so probably DJ. DJ. You yeah. can't go wrong. You really can't. No. I don't think you can go wrong with any of these options. But and with a really great MC. Like, I want somebody to hype people up. Kill it. Mm-hmm. Yes. I have a good MC recommendation for you. Do we'll you? talk. Okay, perfect. Um. Okay. Now, focusing on the bridesmaids a little bit here. Yeah. So, bridesmaids dresses specifically. Are you thinking you're going to do colored, neutrals? And then my third option I put in like print, which I've never seen anyone do print, but think more like textured, like Ooh. maybe it's beaded or sequins, you know? Yeah. You know, my cousin Amber did sequins or it was more like beaded and it was gorgeous. Yes. And I love that. Mm-hmm. Um, I would say probably neutrals. Totally. Totally neutrals. Yeah. Especially for the time of year if I'm thinking fall. Yes. You know? Yes. Yes. Definitely. Yeah. That'll be great. But I do like different colors. I think it'd be fun to have kind of a variety. Okay. So like a color palette. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You just read my mind because I was going to incorporate a part B of this question whether you were going to do matching. So everybody in the same thing or everybody in something slightly different. I feel like slightly different, but all like the same length. Yes. So all long and then maybe similar up top. Yep. But almost different colors. (gasps) That'd be so cool. Say no more. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. I'm here for that. Love to hear it. Um, I personally think this is the most important question. (laughs) Where's the bachelorette? Um, Are we doing local? Are we doing destination? Which I already know the answer, but tell us. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say lakes area. I'm throwing in lakes area too. Lakes area would be really fun. Yes. Honestly, you can never have, like, not enough fun at the lakes. It's always fun. Yeah. Times. Yes. Um, I think destination. Uh, yeah, buddy. Because, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so destination for sure. Where? Uh, I don't know. To be determined. There are so many good spots, which I know we already have a What's the Tea episode on Bachelorette spots, specifically Nashville, Vegas, and the lakes. We talk about those. So if you're interested, listen to that episode. Yeah. But there's new places coming up. Miami is a big one that I'm seeing. Yes, I've heard that. Cabo. The thing oh, about like Cabo. Mexico is you can sometimes do it pretty cost effective. Yeah. So I've seen people do that. I mean, the, there's so many options for travel. I, yeah, it'll be fun. My really good friend, Christina, was thinking Mexico. Oh. Yeah, she thought it'd be so much fun. And um, so, yeah, 
And how t- how many times do you get to do a trip with all of your best girls? Yeah. Like it, it you yeah. have to do it. Yeah. Ten out of ten recommend. Um, okay, well, we shall see what you shall see what you hold on to and which of these picks you actually go with. So everybody report back, um, possibly sometime in the fall next year. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like this is similar to our New Year's resolutions. Like, we're going to check in. We're going to check in. We are. Absolutely. All right. That is, I mean, all the great engagement things. And I'm sure we're going to be talking about it throughout this next year. Like, it's going to come up all the time. Totally. One way in which you guys can stay updated with what you want to hear between the wedding, the bachelorette, the bride bridal shower, all bride things in planning is send us questions. We have a Ask Us Anything page Mm -hmm. on our website. Mm -hmm. You can send questions, give us feedback, do really any type of information that you want us to talk about on the pod. And it's all submitted anonymously. So we don't know who's sending what, but it's been kind of fun to read. (laughs) It's been so fun. I was just pulling it up right now here, actually. It took me a second to get on the website, but there's so many fun questions that I'm excited. We should at, like answer these right now. We're yeah. going to get to them. So this is something that you can expect from a lot of the What's to Tease coming yeah. up is we're going to be answering your questions, giving advice. Sometimes maybe we'll even have some themes to our questions, but this time around, since it's our first one, we're just getting into it and... We're, we're going to try to help as much as we can. Yeah, I'm excited. This is really great. I really hope that people continue to ask these questions because how fun. I know. How, I feel like it's like a newspaper column. <laughs> 100% <laughs> yeah. like Carrie Bradshaw yes. advice column. I love that. Say no more. Wow. Go for it. <laughs> okay. All right. Paige, take us away with the first one. All right. So the first one, this one's really nice. Hey guys, I love the podcast and I'm so happy to hear you bringing awareness to small women owned businesses. I'm feeling super inspired by all the women you talk with, but I can't help feeling like I'm not doing enough. Mm -hmm. Any advice to help with comparison? Okay. First off, comparison sucks. You're so sweet. So sweet. Um, Oh, that does suck. That's hard. Comparison is hard. And you know what? I feel like we do have some pretty outstanding people on here. Mm -hmm. And I could totally see where sometimes listening to that could be like, oh, shoot. Like, they're doing A, B, C, and D, and I'm, you know, not. Yeah. Um, Gosh, I feel like with comparison, though, you have to know that everyone is different. And even the people who come on to our show or that you watch other interviews about people tell what they only tell right you're never going to understand someone's full story because frankly we don't have the time to recap a full story within an hour episode so i think with comparison it's like you're you're really only seeing the surface level stuff even with people trying to be so honest Mm -hmm. and i feel like something too that kind of going back to what you said is you never really know the full story Mm -hmm. you know somebody maybe got to this really great point in their life but you don't see everything that came before that all the work that they put in all the late hours and they might be thriving at their business but maybe there's another area of their life that isn't thriving totally but that area of your life is yeah you know so i think it's really important to keep that in mind where okay maybe you're not the best um I'm just going to say dancer because that just came to mind. Maybe you're not the best dancer in the room, but you're a really great sister or you're a really great cook. You know, so kind of appreciating what you're really good at. I love that. I think that always helps me anyway. I really like that. And I think overall as women and just as people in general, I think the best thing we can do with comparison is just be excited for people. Yeah. And let them motivate you. I know every single, that is an outlook I've always tried to have is not that, oh, look at all that they have that I don't. It's more of look at all that they have, which means it's possible. That's a really great way. You know, like you can get there. And I think that like that hope Mm -hmm. is so much more valuable than what's not there. Yeah, Mm -hmm. I agree. That's great. Love that question. So hopefully that helped. Yes. 
Um, this one cracks me up. <laughs> How do you find an actually good guy nowadays? Sis. Sis. <laughs> I, you go to high school with them. That's my, <laughs> that's all I can give to you. No, I'm kidding. You sell advertising <laughs> to their parents and then the mom does her magic and hooks you up. Oh my gosh. Okay. We must. Okay. Please. Somebody ask the question how Paige met Landon because we need to talk about that on the pod someday, but we're, we won't get too off track. <laughs> That is a story. That's a story. That's a story for sure. I don't, I feel like, honestly, just put yourself out there. Yes. And the best things happen when you least expect it. I know that's so cliche to say, mm-hmm. but if you don't put any pressure on it and you're just here for it, yeah, it falls. I also um, just experienced watching my friends find really great partners is being open to anything. I think there's a lot of guys, girls out there who have kind of, this is who I need to be with. And if there's not that instant attraction, or if there's not that instant, you know, they have a great career or this or that or anything, you might write them off. And I have seen a lot of stories where people are like, oh my gosh, I never thought that we were going to be together until I gave them a chance to really show me who they are. Mm -hmm. I always think about, um, the Bachelor. Yeah. Okay. So um, specifically when you're watching The Bachelor where it's all the women in the house mm-hmm. and towards further in the season, you start to think other people are really attractive. Like other women are like really pretty. You're like, gosh, they're really pretty. Yeah. And I know on someone's podcast, they're like, oh, when does the makeup artist kick in? Like it, everyone gets so much prettier, like towards the end of the season. Mm-hmm. And they're like, there is no makeup artist. Like you just start to like their personalities. Which is so crazy. Isn't that yeah. wild? Yeah. I think that's so cool. And I think that it's a weird comparison, but I do think like that that physical attraction happens once you give people a chance. I agree with that. I absolutely agree. And I think do things that you wouldn't normally do. Yes. Like, I don't know. I'm just trying to think of things where... Join a golf league. Yeah, just simple things that you could easily do. Go to a book club. Do a... Or take a a walk on a different area of town. Yes, get coffee at a different spot. Totally. Mixing up your routine. Mm -hmm. That is such a simple and good advice. But yours, that's dead on. All right. Things women, things every woman should do daily to be a freaking queen. <laughs> yes. That's so cute. Um, I would say, well, I'm a coffee person, so I <laughs> love that. So wake Fill up your early, cup, fill literally. Your cup, fill your cup with coffee. Um, I think surrounding yourself with good people. That's great. It's really, really important. I truly believe you are like the five people that you spend the most time with. And if those five people don't treat themselves like queens, you're going to to start to treat yourself the way they treat themselves. Yeah, that's true. I think that is such a huge part of of being a queen is like Mm -hmm. you got to surround yourself with queens. Yeah, I agree. I love that. I always feel like something that helps me when I'm kind of just like, uh, not really feeling it is yeah. I go for a walk outside. Totally. I love to go for a walk. Um, Motivational. Um, we read a lot. Yeah. And I actually got that from you. That was something that I did not do a ton until we became friends. And I truly love it. Like I get something Good. and I might not retain it like for the rest of time. But if it just like bumps you up mm-hmm. for that day. worth the $12 I spent on a book. Yeah. Or a good pump-up playlist. Honestly, my favorite thing is, like, the old 2000s, like, hip-hop, pop. I love that. You can't go wrong. You can't go wrong. So sometimes if I'm having a crappy morning, I'll blast that out of my car. Absolutely. It's good. As you should. As I should. (laughs) (laughs) All right. there you go. Um, Okay. What are some college hacks? I feel like this had to have been a dancer of mine. Oh, One of, okay. I feel like a dancer out there sent this question in. Um, so what are some college hacks? Example, how to save money during college years, how to make the most of your college experience. What are some of your favorite college experiences? What are some valuable lessons you learned in college and brought to the professional world, etc.? Hmm. 
Oh. That is a jam-packed question, miss. I like that. <laughs> All jacks. Okay. I do like it. I do cool. like it. So should we just go line by line? Yeah. Okay. So what what was one way that you were able to save money? money? Um, I worked. I always worked in college, and I found a job that would allow me to be a student at it. Oh. So I worked at the good old Santana. Gotta love it. <gasps> Um, but truthfully, that was the best college job because I just sat at a desk and, you know, cleaned beds every now and then. So I was able to do my homework there. It was kind of like a study hall. It actually was very great for school because when I was there, I was like, okay, I have nothing to do because we weren't really allowed to be like on our phones or anything. Mm -hmm. So I did my homework and it was great. And it also got me money. Yeah, I worked too. I would say that was another one. I worked part time. I was a bank teller. So yeah, that was good. You know, good experience. I would say work if you can part time and don't go out to eat at any given moment because you're paying for a meal plan. Yes. And I, well, we've opened NDSU and it's really good food. So it is good food. Eat that because you're already paying for it. So don't double up. <laughs> <laughs> that is so true. I definitely did not follow that. Uh, um, how to make the most of your college experience. Don't Dude. waste your time on boys. Yeah. Do not waste your time on boys. I'm not even kidding you. It's not worth it. That's such a good one. Just have so much fun with your friends and put yourself out there and almost kind of going back to the boys, like hang out with people that you maybe wouldn't hang out yes. with in high school because college is different and you can be whoever you want to be in college and you can be friends with whoever you want. Yeah. You know, sometimes high school can be really clicky, mm-hmm. but especially bigger school, you have so much more opportunity. That's your connection building yeah. stage of your life. Yeah. Um, and to piggyback that, I think again, putting yourself in kind of uncomfortable situations, mm-hmm. not unsafe, but just Doing things that maybe you've been told, like, oh, yeah, nobody goes to that. Or, oh, yeah, that's not really cool here. Don't let those little comments steer you away from trying things because it changes. And you never know when you're going to find some really great group of people. Don't let a comment of what it maybe was in the past steer you away from doing it. Mm -hmm. I totally agree with that. Um, What are some of your favorite college experiences? Well, I really like the bison games, like tailgating totally. is so much fun. Sporting events in general, yeah. I think were really, really fun. Really fun. I think it's also just the fact that you get out of your bubble. Even, mm-hmm. I mean, myself lived in Fargo my entire life, went to school in Fargo, but at the end of the day, you meet so many people that aren't from your circle yeah. that it does get you into a completely different setting. So I think that was so fun. I danced in college so that's kind of where most of my time was spent and I would do it all over again I a hundred percent think if you're an athlete thinking about doing college sports do it you will completely regret it if you don't you can always quit your sport but it's really hard to turn it back on so Mm -hmm. I know a lot of dancers that's what I was in who did it for a year and then left and went and did a college experience like go and do that yeah but check it off the list totally did you ever study abroad that is one thing I wish I would have done yes and I didn't and I I had an opportunity and I think at the time I just was worried about well I don't want to leave my friends yeah or I, I want to work and yeah. that was so dumb of me. I mean it wasn't dumb but when I think about it I should have jumped on it 1000 percent. because where else do you get the opportunity to go for a week or two weeks or i mean it was a spring break one studying abroad for a semester would have been amazing yes but even a spring break one would have been fun the spring break like ones it's safe you're with yes. the group it's not super expensive no it's credit a steal yeah. because you're already taking the class um i did study abroad my senior year And it was one of the best things I ever did. Mm -hmm. It was so fun. And I was upset at myself for only doing it that one year. Because I went on a trip to Western Europe. And there were a couple people that I met who were like, oh, yeah, we do this. We've done this every year. We've been in in school. So last year we went to, I don't remember where they went. But they had already been to a couple places. If I could do it again, I would have studied abroad 
every single year. Maybe taken one year off to do like a traditional spring break. Yeah. But I would have totally done spring break studying abroad. Oh, I should have. I know. Me yeah. too. That's so fun. Um, what are some valuable lessons you learned in college that brought to the professional world? And brought to the professional world? So mine definitely was freshman year. It was the winter. My communications, I think like 100 or 101 class, it was public speaking. You would have never known this about me. I was so nervous to do my two minute public impromptu speech. I was sweating. I was just like, out of, I was losing my mind. I was okay. losing my mind. And honestly, after that, and now I'm in sales, which is insane. Like I talk to people every day and give presentations. So take a communication class. <laughs> I was a communications major, but take a communication class, take multiple and do these speeches and honestly take them seriously because even if you're not in sales, you will never regret being able to talk to somebody very well. That is the best advice ever. I truly don't think I ever took like a public speaking class seriously because it, it never made me super nervous, yeah. but I never really like went guns blazing, mm -hmm. like tried to do a great job. And I totally agree. I think in almost all careers, you have to be capable of speaking to people you don't know yeah. or in front of people you don't know. Take that. Take that ish clearly <laughs> and importantly. You need to do it. Um, the other thing I wish I would have done is I wish I would have interned a little bit more. Mm -hmm. I know that I had a lot of friends who like specifically tried to intern at different places. Oh. Which I think is really nice. I know people who intern at the same spot for three years mm -hmm. or wherever. And if I could go back and do it again, I would have purposefully tried to intern at somewhere different every year and just gain as much experience as you can. Internships take up time. Some of them aren't paid. A lot of them are paid now. I would just like put in the effort to try to find some really good ones because mm -hmm. that is honestly where you're going to learn the most. Yeah, that's really great advice. Something else too, real quick, is if there is a professor that you really get along with that you really like at the end of the course, don't be afraid to ask them, you know, hey, could I use you as a reference mm -hmm. for the future? I did that. Totally. And it doesn't hurt. Yeah. So. That's a good point. Yeah. Um... Things to look for on a first date. <laughs> well, it's a while ago. But <laughs> yeah. Gosh. Yeah, Paige, you'll have better. If he doesn't hold the door for you, open to the restaurant, bye. I'm sorry. <gasps> that but... is totally true. I still am like, Landon, you better hold that door open for me. <laughs> yeah. Not that hard. Yeah. I would say ah, that's like a first impression is a big thing. Or, you know, hopefully he better get out of his car and open the door for you. That would be really great. It is a little outdated, but... But if, chivalry's not dead. It's not dead. And if it happens, you hang on for dear life. Like that is something good to do. Um... Okay, but from a side that, some, yes, not everybody's going to do that. I would say really good table manners. Good table I manners, know. yep. I think also where and how the date is presented to you is a very good tell yeah. of who they are. Mm -hmm. So are you going out just for drinks? Are you going out for dinner? That kind of can get a sense of like what their commitment level is. That's like true. if they just want to go out for drinks, okay, he's not super interested and just wants to test the waters here. If right. he's asking for dinner and a movie, okay, this is an evening. Like we're yep. doing this. This person is really interested. I should maybe give them some time. Yep. Um, and I would just say, did you have fun? Because on That's the good. first date, I think it's a little, I don't know. I don't, I did not even do a first date. You know, Tyler and I, like, we literally hung out at one of our houses. So I have zero great advice. But in my, in my mind, if I were to go on a first date, I would want to make sure that I laughed, I had fun, and that I didn't have to think about the conversation. That's a really, yeah. Or what time it was. You know? Yes. That's great. Yeah. Or what are your friends doing? Yeah. If you're thinking those things, it's probably because you're not very interested. Uh-huh. And you should just maybe move along. Mm -hmm. Or give him another chance. But... You never know. Maybe he's really nervous. Yeah. That that initial chemistry, I think, is important. Yeah. 
Um, okay. What are your favorite ways to relax and practice self care? Hmm. <laughs> We're going, hmm. I honestly, I really like a good bubble bath with a candle and wine. I hate nothing more than a bubble bath. Are you serious? I know. Isn't that nuts? Yeah. I think I've tried to do the bubble bath with like the salts and like the wine and the book. And I get so antsy sitting in a bath. Like nothing makes me feel worse. <laughs> That's right. You constantly have ants in your pants. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay. But, so but, what do you like? Um, hmm. I really love, I love watching a movie with my dog mm-hmm. and Tyler. I think that's the best thing ever. If I was to do it by myself, because that is self-care. Um, I know that this is such like a generic answer and people, this is not self-care. But I do love doing a skincare routine. Like it oh, yeah. feels so good just to do, like if you have extra time to do something that you feel is productive. I feel like I always want to feel productive, which... I need to be better about, but it's not like it's a mindless pr- productivity. Yeah. Um, so that's a good one. I love journaling. I have the best guided journal that is so great. It's called the pause journal. I'll link it in our YouTube page because it is so dang good. And it's mm-hmm. just a great way to like get your thoughts out, but not say today I had a sandwich or today yeah. this happened. Like it's just different. So I love journaling too. I really like journaling too. I do like that. Honestly, my favorite thing, and I know it's not like super self care, but I love when it's, you have a really busy week, you can just sit down by yourself, decompress mm-hmm. and almost just be by yourself. Yes. You know, and just be with your thoughts. <gasps> that was probably really lame, but no. I love it. With a cup of coffee. I think that's very good. Mm-hmm. Actually, a little teaser for you guys. We have a great episode coming up mm-hmm. involving a lot of meditation. So exciting. And it's literally like one of our favorite episodes we've ever recorded. This girl is amazing. And that's mm-hmm. what it just made me think of. It's like how great it is yeah. to sit with your thoughts. <gasps> I can't wait for people to hear that one. Okay. That'll be coming up soon. Yeah. Okay. So this one, let's see. What do you guys do to stay motivated to be your best self? By the way, love the podcast. Thanks so much for starting this. Oh, that's sweet. I love that. What do you guys do to stay motivated to be your best self? Okay. I have totally learned that this is a thing for me. Staying... Something in motion stays in motion. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I've truly, the weeks where, like, I don't get a workout in and I'm, like, still physically, my mind also kind of mimics that. Mm -hmm. It is wild. It's so weird. And, like, the days that I do a workout, I, like, dread it more than anything. But after I do it, I swear, my whole week is just, like, I'm... I'm so much more motivated to actually do stuff and get stuff done and not just like sit and be still. Yeah, I agree. I know I had a really good workout last night. And after that, I was like cleaning the house and like doing laundry, tidying up. It really helps. Yeah. I, yeah, I would agree with that. But as far as, because the thing is, you got to be motivated to go do the workout or do the cleaning and do all that. And so I think something that is really like... It is attached to motivation is discipline. Mm -hmm. Like there are so many times where I will sign myself up for a workout class or I will say, I'm going to clean my house tonight or I'm going to finish this proposal for work and stuff always comes up. Mm -hmm. Like that is just life. Stuff is always going to come up. And what you, how you do anything is how you do everything. Mm -hmm. So if when stuff comes up and you always let that stuff take your attention that's how it's going to be for literally everything Mm -hmm. whether it's something small or something big so I really try to like when stuff comes up whether it's my friends asking me to go out for drinks or um you know I need to get my car fixed or whatever if it's something that I can avoid where I can stick to my original plan I will try to do anything to stay disciplined and Mm -hmm. not get off track with what I originally had in mind. Yeah. I think something for me that really helps with that is 
So we both have planners. I mean, we use mm-hmm. them every day. But for me, if I, I'm such a pen and paper person, and if I write something down and I see it, I have to get it done before I go to bed because I it just it won't go away in my mind. Like knowing I wrote that thing down, if it's on my calendar, if it's there, I'm gonna do it. That is good though. It might not be this second, but I'm gonna do it before I go to bed. Yes. You know. And the one time that you allow yourself to go to bed and not do it is the one time that you now allow that to be okay. Right. Do you know what I mean? And then it builds a pattern. Yes. Of continuing to do that. Totally. Mm. All right. One more. This one's fun. How did you two meet? Cute. Well, let me tell you. (laughs) (laughs) Just kidding. Can you think of the first day we met? Um, yeah, I can. Do you want to hear I can, so yeah, I do. (laughs) Well, I don't know if it was the first day, but I remember it was when I really started to, like, get to... Well, no, it might have been one of the first days. We were at Off the Wall, so we worked together. That's how we really met. But we were in the conference room at our old office, and you were sitting across from me, and I just remember, like, you did never really say a whole lot. (laughs) And I was so intimidated by you. I'm like, what is up this girl's butt? <laughs> what? <laughs> I was so intimidated. And then another gal complimented, like, this, like, sweater thing I was wearing. And then you were like, oh, that's really cute, too. And I was like, she said something. She's in. <laughs> I literally was. And I, like, I've never, I can't believe I've never told you that. Never. And it was just weird. And then all of a sudden from there, like, we just got along. <laughs> just been besties ever since. Oh, that's so funny. I was, I know I was trying to think about that. I'm like, I don't remember the first time you started working because I started working at our office maybe less than a year, not much longer before you. So I was still fairly new and you were just like coming in and I was like, I don't know how long this girl's going to stick around. (laughs) Like, I don't know if she's going to be here for a while, which is so awful. I will never think like that again because here we are, (laughs) (laughs) which is so funny. But yes, we met at work and that, you know, that's just the place to meet people. It is. I'm glad we both had open minds. Glad we both (laughs) had open minds. Glad we're both still here doing our dang thing. Yeah, yeah. And celebrating our newly engaged woman. Well, you have some champs to drink, but cheers. (sighs) Cheers to the future, Mrs. Poss. Everybody send in your questions. Keep in touch. We will see how this wedding plays out for these two. And cheers to all the queens that submitted questions. Yes! That was so much fun. Please continue to do that because we're really excited to continue to engage and answer all the fun things. We are. And that's the tea, y'all. That's the tea.